the High Wire Podcast. Hello, hello, YouTubes. Hey, what's up? What's going on, my friend? What's going on, man? Oh, not too much. I've uh, been working a bunch, so I'm just, like, exhausted this week. been wor- working overtime for, like, two weeks, so I'm pretty excited on Saturday just to sleep. Are we doing anything this weekend? Are there any plans that I know of? Any shows or something I'm supposed yeah, to we're do? Going to, uh, we're going to a bad planning Tiny Kingdom show on Saturday. Well, if you want to. I'm going to. Ah, I knew it. I knew there was something. I knew there was something. Well, I'm sleeping in at least, and then I'll go, I'll be doing that later, so that'll be nice. Uh, what's your week been like? You been up to anything fun? Um, not a whole lot of fun. You know, just work. Um, it's my last week before like Christmas break. The restaurant that I work at does this like winter break thing every year, which is kind of nice, I guess. We get like a couple weeks off. Now you've complained about it for years, and I understand why because like it's a portion of time where you're like you just aren't making money. Right. But I'm kind of jealous of the fact that you've always still had like a Christmas break because yeah. I've always had jobs that are like no Cameron, you're working and you're working a lot, and I uh, still have that. Right around so, Thanksgiving, you know, I'm right jealous. around like like Halloween, Thanksgiving. It's like all right, I need to save money because I'm going to be out of work for two weeks. But it's like it's nice. I assume he does it just because everybody else is going to like ask off that time. Ask so off, yeah. It's just less of a hassle to. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Well, you know, we've been talking a lot about Christmas stuff, and I want to get off that. What else you've been watching? Have you been watching anything other than Christmas stuff? The band has been talking about Get Back, that Beatles documentary on Disney Plus. I still haven't started uh, it. I've recommended. I started. It to I a started lot of it. Um, it's interesting because it's like it's. I think it's two parts, two halves, and each each half mm. is like two and a half hours long, three hours long. So it's it's kind of a it's. It's weird how they did it. It's, like, not easy to get through. You know, you have to, like... That is the one thing I've heard about it that's kind of a complaint. The good thing is, though, I have a job where I kind of just need, when I'm listening... Like, I listen to a lot of podcast music and stuff, and I do watch movies and stuff, but it needs to be something I can kind of space it off and, like, do my job still. So this seems like something I can just kind of listen to in the background and just hear the Beatles, right? So that seems like it... I'll do it tomorrow. Screw it. I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll give Dexter a break. And I'll do that. So they it, it starts off sort of like documentary style. They kind of go through mm-hmm. like I didn't know that Ringo well, I, I didn't know George, Paul, and John like knew each other when they were like thirteen, fourteen years old in Liverpool. I didn't realize they like were a band back in the day like that. The cor- I vaguely the remember quarryman. that. But I thought they were like in I thought they were like in two different groups though too, and then well Ringo joined later for sure, but I thought that like George was in a different band and then they joined forces. I kind of don't remember. I learned it at one point. I've never been great at rock and roll history and just so well, they, they kind of speed you but... through that part and then they then then starts the get back aspect of it all where they're trying to write and record an album in like 2 weeks and it's awesome. Mm-hmm. They just like let the audio go and the and the cameras roll and they're ripping through cigarettes and Yoko Ono's just there being weird in the corner not even in the corner she's like in the circle with them just like not saying anything like knitting and just being yoko ono i've heard that as well as i've seen i've seen that clip a million times now of john whipping out that joint and then realizing he's being filmed and hiding it again i've been seeing (laughs) that uh I've, i've seen clips here and there of it but i'll get into it tomorrow uh this is something that chris would find more interesting than you but i've been really into the show portals to hell with jack osborne on travel channel so if you've heard me talk before at, at any of our podcasts, and I'm sure around Halloween, the Travel Channel and Discovery Plus is kind of just the paranormal network now, and it's just full of like ghost adventure kind so of. So is shows. he doing he like a know, Zach Baggins thing? Yeah, but not as annoying. He's going in like with a lot of like familiar faces of mediums and stuff from other Travel Channel ghost shows, and it's just him. Yeah, going in and investigating. Uh, so you know, it's more of the same. It's not better or worse than any of the other shows. It's. Less annoying than Ghost Adventures is Zach Baggins like yelling in a ghost face of like, show yourself, I'm Zach Baggins. Are you here? There's that. It's just Ozzy like so, like fucking in the background. There is a show that Chris was telling me about. Oh, I wish he was on this one. Uh, that is just like Jack Osborne showing Sharon and Ozzy paranormal like 
ghost caught on camera video and it's just their take of us being like, well, this is, a, this is a full bloody spirit right there. He's a full party apparition. And I I don't know what you have to have to watch that. It says it's on Hulu, but like with a subscription of like a premiere channel, but that sounds he kinda like, ta- sounds he, exactly he, like he talks to like one of the Beatles almost. It's just like a drunk Beatle. Yeah, I guess when you're British and you just do a lot of drugs and you get up to your like, you know, uh, your twilight years, you just sound like that. Yeah. So, I uh, mean, what's the American version of that? Something for us to look forward to, I guess. The, I mean, I guess kind of Bob Dylan, but that's a little different. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, still one of my favorite work, terrible holiday Christmas albums. Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell Rock. Like Christmas. Check, check it out. It's <laughs> not good, but, you know, it's like. Yeah, I was going to compare um, it to the holiday, but that is good in a way. What else have I been watching? Um, just re- I, I've been like scrolling through Netflix and like anything that kind of catches my eye. I've been like watching. I watched um, what's the? It's The Rock and um, shoot, uh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds. That yeah, new one, the Red something, the Red yeah. Notice. I uh, Red Notice. I've seen previews for it. I've seen. I mean, I've been meaning to get around to that one too. But I, I've just. I've never been like in. A, I haven't had a sh- second. It pay is attention so to ridiculous. Movie. It's just full of action. I mean, it's an easy watch, but it's like, oh my god! Like you're. Th- they're it's they're what, shooting like RPGs through helicopter like openings, that, and then I don't know. It's it's just an action movie. Mark, it's a rock movie. We have to push it to eleven now. He's done so many crazy things. Fucking Dwayne. Oh. Did I show you that preview of that Nicolas Cage movie where he's playing Nicolas yes, Cage that seems awesome? I love it. Oh, I love it because it's so self-aware. Too. It just is like Nick Cage knows people are going to love it because he like he's just being Nick Cage. I don't know. It's I think the title's something like The Weight of Enormous Talent or something like it's something ridiculous like that, but the premise is just Nick Cage needs money so he's taking an acting gig for a private eccentric millionaire and it seems but he's it's nick cage, into like he's cage nick cage yep just nick cage just him leaning I love in that i Looks really awesome. do love that so there's that to look forward to uh i still want to see last night in soho that edgar wright movie i never got around to it and i might i don't want to just pay for streaming i want to give him the service of going to the theater but really the price of me streaming it would be the price of kind of me and my girlfriend going to the theater anyway so i think it might equal out I'll 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 go. I'll I'll end up seeing I that. I miss one. the movie going experience, so any any chance I can get to go out and see a movie, I'd I'd I do like to take that opportunity. New Ghostbusters. Let's let's plan on trying to see that soon. I've heard nothing but good things about the new Ghostbusters. Or what's that you haven't seen it no, yet, I have haven't. you? Okay, good. There's a there's like a new what's Disney or new Pixar one that I kinda want to see. Me and Kanta or Oh yeah, I was about to say it's like magic in Spanish, but I couldn't remember the name of it. Yeah, something like that. I'd see that, you know? You just saw. Yeah, did I we mean, talk about this last time. Pixar you movies never fail. Hmm. The um, it's a wonderful life. Yeah, you saw that. Oh we yeah, I went that. to see that at the Music Box Theater. I don't know if I talked about it much, but Music Box Theater, an old theater in Chicago, they have an annual screening of It's a Wonderful Life on on the big screen, and it's fun. They have Santa come out before, and they have an organ player, and everyone sings Christmas carols, and like everyone's wearing Christmas lights and crazy Christmas sweaters, and really into it, but. When when Mr. Potter comes on the screen, everyone hisses and boos. Uh, whenever George Bailey has a triumphant speech, everyone cheers and goes crazy. Uh, it's fun. I mean, I've done it in a few years now with my brother. It's like kind of a tradition that he's doing with his wife, but uh, it, it's good fun. If you're ever in Chicago, you should, you should do it. It's fun. Yeah, that does seem fun. Um, have you ever been to Christ Kindle Market in Chicago? Yeah, I've been a few times. Chris Again, my family's in town. Uh, it's it's a fun touristy thing to do if you have if you have like you know if you're doing something touristy if there's family in town but uh you know it's crowded I'll avoid it this year probably I have no reason I've to seen be there. just lines yeah like I've just seen a lot of lines yeah. I, I saw your brother was there actually tonight maybe it's I guess there's a Wrigleyville version of oh yeah there's two pop ups now there's the downtown one the one I've been to then there's like I think a Wrigley for people one. who don't know it seems just like sort of like a Christmas farmers market of sorts you can get your hot cocos and your your yep, ornaments. Exactly what I did. Yeah, that seems fun. I've never done it. It seems like a good date spot. And, and weird German pastries or some sort of, you know, Danish or, you know, Nordic con- country pastry. I forget exactly what it was. It was good. It's good stuff. Nice. Ciders. I want to do that. Uh, I don't really have a lot of just what I've been watching. Do you have any questions this week? I haven't had any good questions in a while, to be honest, but hopefully something will pop up as we go along um, here. Questions, questions, questions. No, I don't, actually. I didn't come with any questions. Any oh, okay. questions? Wow, thanks, buddy. 
Oh, and I do have great music drops for that. I've been meaning to do. We'll, we'll incorporate that someday. Uh, you want to hear some news stories, some high wire news? Uh, I'm going to warn you, I didn't pre-read these. I just looked at the titles and I was like, that sounds interesting. Is this news so about high wire ones. or just you calling it high wire news? No, no, no. This is high wire broadcasting the news Got it, to thanks. You. Uh, this is coming from NPR News, and my headline is two uh, zebras are back in prison. Uh, back in prison. I love that aspect back of it all. Um, what what NPR says, two zebras who escaped from a Maryland farm are back after months on the run. So these two <laughs> zebras in Maryland, they escaped from a farm in mid-August, uh, and they've now been returned to the herd. Uh, so in a statement to NPR... Uh, this dude says, blah, blah, blah. None of this is uh, interesting. Uh, the owner is going to be facing legal actions for violations and these zebras getting out. The um, rhinos gave like an interview like, oh, they seem like normal, normal giraffes. I, you know, I, nothing. I wouldn't expect nothing from them. Ooh, this is taking a turn. In October, Jerry Holly, the owner of the zebras, was charged with three counts of animal cruelty after one of the three zebras that had escaped was reported to have been discovered dead in a snare trap. So it seems like he was doing his own survivalist snare and trap and trying to get these zebras back and didn't do a good job. Now, are zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? I'm not trying to get political here, but... Ooh, uh, I'm seeing a picture here, and his underbelly is white, which makes me to believe that's the base color. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all I really want to go into this, because it's getting pretty sad that this was a pretty bad farm that had exotic animals and shit. It's like a... This is like... Oh, what oh, was his you name? Know what that actually reminds me? Joe Exotic? That no, was I was just going to make a joke, because it was like Dan Exotic or something. What was this guy's name? Have you seen any of these new seasons of like, there's Tiger King 2, there's like the Dan story, the one, the guy with the ponytail, there's like a Carol Baskins thing on Travel Channel. All of them have their own like season now. Any of those kooky characters who were on season one have their own I've, show. So I've, I've heard of all this, King but I haven't watched any of them because they got, they got my attention in the first one. I'll, I'll maybe get you a little hooked in here. I watched the first three episodes of Tiger King uh, season two when I was back home with my family for Thanksgiving. And it's really just the Carol Baskin story of what happened to her husband. But I saw a bunch of things on TikTok that were like, yeah, he's been in like Costa Rica this whole time. He's just been hiding from Carol. So I don't know if that is true, but I think he's alive and just been hiding from Carol this whole time in Costa Rica. But it also seems like he was maybe a nefarious pedophile and you know killing tigers like all the rest of them so none of them no. are good but uh now you have three new series if you want to find out how gross all these tiger dealers were i mean i don't want to get back into tiger king too much but i just loved that first season when like they're interviewing great. like just the workers and like they all had like one arm and like missing legs well, missing that, limbs that's part of it like it, there was such a shock value and just the 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 expectation management wasn't there because i'm like oh what's this kooky thing like i i did do listen to uh last podcast on the left so i do remember them reporting this story like way before but like them reporting it through a podcast and over like radio doesn't exactly you need the visual of it you need to see the guy for it to really yeah, you hit do, you, you do. Uh, that's about all I want from that. Uh, Mark, I got a question for you. How do you feel about strongman competitions? Um, like the Atlas stones and like, we're, we're, oh, yeah. I love mm-hmm. them. I, like, mm-hmm. Anytime I like see them on like ESPN too, like when I was a kid, like I'd always watch some, like Samuel Maximson or like these like Swedish names and these big fuckers that are just carrying around stones. Love it. Especially if it gets a little beyond strength and we get some skill in there and you get some axe thrown and just like generally like uh, stereotypical manly events of outdoorsmen, these things, those are always great. Uh, so my title is Iraqi Strongman Pulls Bus 169 Feet. Seems like he might have set a new Guinness World Record. This is coming to us from UPI News. Uh, strongman Double Decker Bus Pull. It's a double decker, my mistake. Uh, this was on December 16th. Uh, a bodybuilder in the Kurdistan region of Iraq pulled a double-decker bus the distance of nearly 170 feet in a bid to land the Guinness World Record. Uh, he's 51. He's a power lifter. Uh, it was a Red Bull bus uh, that had 15 occupants <laughs> aboard during the thing. Does that part? Does that they were taking an make architecture it tour? <laughs> like they're... yeah, the slowest <laughs> ever too. Jeez, that must have taken a while. Um, there's some video here I could show you, but I'm not going to. Um, you, you... Oh, okay. He said he uh, he hopes to have his next record. He wants to lift an airplane. 
I don't know exactly what that means. He d- lifted above yeah, him. What does that like, mean? L- uh, like a Cessna, like a big, like what size of plane? Well, and that's just a cumbersome thing to try to lift, no matter what the size. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got to be hard. Well, you know what? Actually, we watched like uh, MythBusters when they like just wrapped it in duct tape. Some of those Cessnas are just like you know a frame with like a shell on it. Maybe he's just gonna be like, yeah. It's well, like, just, pretty just easy. take the weight of bad. a Cessna and then try to lift that. Like what? Do we, like he's just trying to lift like an awkward like sized thing. That's true. He's going to have to get dead center under it. Maybe he's going to have to use like his legs too and do just one of those things, yeah. you know? I'd love to see like how you make him, toddlers like, fly. Throw it like him just down the runway to oh, kind of like okay. get it going. Like a spin set situation. I yeah. get that. Uh, do I have just sort of on that Guinness Book of World Records thing? You know who always mm-hmm. kind of creeped me out was the long nail guy. Oh, I hate and it. And what sucked was he won like every year because they're just nails, they keep growing. Like no no one can catch up to that if he just keeps growing his fucking nails. If I was into uh, getting the thing, though, I would try to just smack his hands. I would try to hunt him down and take oh, over. Oh. It seems like there's paparazzi in your apartment because, like, a light bulb or something is flashing, and every once in a while it just seems like someone's uh, snapping pics. You know what it is? It's on Skype, and I don't know what it is. Skype has been giving us some... Yeah, Skype has been failing us. You know what? I did have like 50 stories from an article from like times magazine that were like stranger than fiction news stories. But I missed the link here. So the good news is that's like 50 headlines. Did you ever try as a kid to like break a Guinness book of world record? Like one of the records. Yeah. You and me both did. I I can't remember what we did, but we definitely tried some stupid stuff. Like I actually have a memory of like at your dad's house, like Googling stuff. And like, it was when we were kind of trying to be break dancers for a second in like the third grade when we got stop, stop, (laughs) Okay, we weren't trying to be break we dancers. Were, we were just, you know, expressing ourselves through, through break. Dance, yeah. I would say. We were B-boys, weren't we? We were trying. I, I, I remember the exact <laughs> task we were trying to do. And it seems plausible. It's, it's... I don't even know why this is a record to try to break in the first place. <laughs> it's you take a kernel of popcorn and you place it behind your oh, ear. right. I remember And this. then you flick it. And you try to get into somebody's mouth, and the record was mm-hmm. 16 in one minute. And we're like, that seems pl- like possible. It's like less than. Yeah, it seems totally plausible. Turns out, and really if I hard recall, to do. I didn't get a single one in my mouth. You could actually do it, but I was just mostly watching and pepping you. No, on. it was my, from oh, my, my ear mouth. into your mouth, like. Oh, gross! I thought it was like I go, but no, no. Are you I'm sure? Positive, I thought it was I'm positive. From you, like your own ear, like in like a catch your like okay, pop fly not, situation. Okay, that maybe that is it. Maybe that is what it was. Or maybe we did not understand the rules. That could also be. We didn't break the record. Long, long, the long and short no, of it. We've never broken any record. No. Let's let, let's look back into that. That might be actually a fun thing to try in one of our like live streams, like high wire breaks records, and just try to shoot for some stupid stuff. You know, we were just complaining in the last episode about that eight hundred and fifty pound like pop brownie. We don't have the resources to do something Couldn't like that, it. but we can definitely maybe like buy a ten dollar pogo stick on Amazon and try to get. No, uh, those pogo sticks. Pogo sticks, like that's now. like probably to, plus twenty four hours. Yeah, that we have to we have to think more obscure, like just like that's why that weird. like sixteen like, in I, a minute of the of the popcorn flick like seemed doable. Yeah, or just something people wouldn't have thought of, like that that boss tuning pedal behind you. Like I'll try to stick the most of those up my. Okay, ass so that's a good idea. Let's before. let's make I bet, a new like, one record. Would do it. May, maybe yeah, yeah. It's like it's gonna be a shitty yeah, record that's that gets broken saying. immediately, but. Only if we boast about it, you know. We can keep the record and have it, like you know, in our house. See, oh, you know what? I'm the. I'll, I'll what about blinks? What it's have people for, done blinks yet? Like, records displayed. Yeah. That. Oh God, I'm sure. I'm sure there's like the fastest in a minute, and just so many different ones. We should think more annoying. Just like someone who, like, I've got, like, I go, like, going, like. Uh, <laughs> No, people have done that for a long time. You know what? If anyone's out there listening, write in and let us know if there's something we can do. Is there anyone in the chat right now? Uh, My phone's not working. But before you get off, before you get off of the strongman thing, it kind of reminded me of those uh, the lumberjack competitions that we would always see. I so so I love that we like we saw a bunch of um, like axe stuff, saw stuff, and then it's just you're, you're you're fucking running on a log. Twiddle, twiddle toes on a log. Like, that's part of the whole thing. Oh, 
I thought you were also saying when they do get that heavy weight, it's always funny seeing them run with it because they are just completely <laughs> stiff and then their feet are just... No, the uh, just the, the, the running uh, on a lot. Like, that's I what it takes to be a those. lumberjack is like, you have to have balance. That's part of it. You know, I've chopped down a few small trees in my time while we were camping and we needed firewood. Well, we didn't really need it. It was just more of a uh, me defacing nature and I feel bad about it. But, uh, you know, I just felt like something I had to do. But every time I've chopped down a tree or like use an axe, I have just thrown out my back and messed it up. So I remember I tripped to like Colorado like, and you picked the wrong tree. It's like still alive and it's just like, oh, what did we do? Oh, yeah. Do you remember actually we, we, we went like backwoods camping like up in a mountain in Colorado, like just off on like we just climbed a mountain with some of our friends. But do you remember the stairs we got from loggers when we were on those like back mountain roads that they're just the looks of like yeah, you that guys guy's in shorts here. like that or the, or the, yeah or the looks at the ranger station where our friend in winter pulls up in shorts for like our camping permit and they're like uh don't go oh. <laughs> we did and we made it so. oh fuck that's such a great story <laughs> we'll have to get we went backwards camping and like long story short it's the most warnings like from a scary movie we've ever had of like Rangers and adults and just authority figures being like, "Oh, don't it was, go it's up like there, a, man. You guys will it's never like a make five it. mile hike to get to this <laughs> camping tried. spot, which we needed to get to to like legally have like a fire. Anything on the way, like you can't just have a fire. Like you can't really just camp anywhere else. And they're like, "Yeah, like even the most experienced like hikers are not gonna be able to get. Like I couldn't get there before nightfall. Don't do it." And J- our buddy James is just like, "Nah, we're good. Let's just go. Let's we're good." No, I think we can do it. I think so we're going to we, be okay. Oh, man. We packed so much water into our packs. Like, we were just carrying, like, dead weight. I remember on the way back down, we just, like, dumped all of our water. Well, we were supposed to be up there for, we were oh supposed to be there for like, God. three days, though. We only lasted one night. We had an appropriate true, amount of water true. At, for the plan. It's just we turned it into a more luxurious vacation after, like, you know, the first night on the mountain. <laughs> Uh, I don't have any more news stories. Do you have um, any news stories before we switch topics? I have a couple couple just sort of headline things. Turnstile played on Seth Meyers late sure. night last night. Oh, yeah. You, you showed awesome. that up on the It's just uh, good for punk cool. and hardcore, like for people to be exposed to sort of our type of music, I guess. So that's that's fun. That if yeah, You should watch it. the set. It was a good, a good set. Um, Travis Barker can't be the only person right. putting live music in front um, of kids. North Korea bans laughing for 11 days uh, to mourn the 10th anniversary of Kim Jong-il's death. Ooh, I saw that, but did you see the worst headline today that they probably executed seven people for watching and sharing oh, K-pop? Really? It's Korean pop. Is that South yeah, Korea? that was the headline today. South Korean pop? Yeah, so... Like, or maybe, or for something. I mean, they definitely killed people for just watching, you know... But but Pop you know what happens when someone that's tells that, you like not shitty. to laugh, like in church or so. You, you get the church giggles, like you're, you're gonna, like it's yeah. you and your buddy, and like you you just you're laughing at nothing. Oh, do you know what the worst feeling honestly was? Being sick in like just any quiet situation, but when you have that cough and it just will not go away, and you're trying so hard to have like some quiet ones, then you commit to like three or four loud ones and it's still not going away. Oh God, embarrassing. I've had that so, so many you're times. You're like taking a test. You're taking a test like some oh, people are like looking over at you. Like, I had that last night and it was like three in the morning. I just woke up like with a frog in my throat and I was just coughing loud for like 10 minutes where I'm sure it sounded crazy. Uh, I have a Before bunch you get of on that, facts this week. I'm just watching Thursday Night Football on Twitch right now. Apparently, that's just where we're doing Thursday mm-hmm. Night Football. Well, that's good for me to know where I can just watch broadcasts that are probably uh, illegal. Just kind of, it's just weird how we're doing that. Like, I don't know. That's it. I mean, we've been talking about having our own listening part, like watch movie parties and watch parties. So, I mean, High Wire Cult Classics might get into that in the near future. Uh, so I saw like a few people on, on TikTok posting like, if you haven't done it, Disney after hour events is the way to go. Like I'm not graduating in Florida and I thank God don't have any illnesses. So I don't think I'm going to be getting to like Disney after hours event kind of thing, but it seems magical. It's just videos of them walking calmly through like an empty park at night to whatever ride they want and getting on and just know the lines. And it seems, is this like a sanctioned thing? Like it's legal to do or like people like sneaking in after hours. 
Yeah, like there's there's I've seen it before where like uh, like companies or like foundations will like rent out the park for like after hours for like three, four hours where like I mean, a lot of times I've seen it, it's like make kind of things like uh, what's the uh, I'm sorry, I forget. What's that disease where you can't ALS? be in the sunlight? Is the water challenge? I can't water remember what that. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but I've. No, I, yeah, I can't remember. But I know, like they've done stuff like that. So I mean, it seems like usually it's a cause you're there, but oh, it just seems mad. Would you like that, or would it be kind of creepy oh, it, being at like a uh, like ninety nine percent empty? It seems like you're talking park. about like it's at it's at night too. That seems super creepy. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's after hours, so it's just like. A few extra hours, typically, I think, for these events. It'd be like, awesome. You, it's like a night get, swim. At like a, that'd be great. At like a water park or something. <clears throat> yeah. No, I'd I've love never that. done. Have you done a night swim? Or I an have, adult yes. swim? You ever done like a Turkish bath it. type of thing? Never been watching. No, but there was that one uh. right next to our house we lived to right when we moved to Chicago that I always wanted to do. I, oh, actually, Nicole just like surprised me with an early Christmas present where we're going to do another sensory deprivation float, float tank in the next couple of weeks. So excited about that. I've done it before. It's fun. And it, oh, God, it's so nice on my back. Just because there's like no pressure points and you're just, you're floating. Like my back felt like amazing for a week. If you guys didn't tell from this episode, I have a What happens back. if you pee the tank? No, I'm not. Frowned I'm not upon. saying I'm going You're in there to pee to. the tank. I'm just saying. If if I'm not mistaken, if it's anything like when I was at the Dead Sea, like it's so salty in a that if you like pee, like I think it, Ooh, like it'll get in your pee that. hole that and burn. So I like because I remember when we went to the Dead Sea, they're like, don't pee because it, it's like that fish that'll swim up and get Let's you. It's like the same thing. It'll burn really, really that, bad. That's nightmare inducing, F- terrifying. Hmm. Um. Also, just down, I saw a lot of people that were in the same situation as me. I got my booster shot. Well, you COVID. also did something crazy. Like, I don't know. What was it? Last week or two? Yeah, I did. I got the flu shot and I got the booster at the same time. And I felt amazing. There was an Iowa game that night. I hung out with you and my brother. And then I got home that night at like 1230 or something or 12. I can't remember. But then all of a sudden, it hit me so hard. And I'm seeing all over TikTok all these people that were fine with the first two COVID shots. Those are the people who are feeling it now on the, on the booster. And that was definitely <laughs> clear for me, but I, I doubled down on the flu shot. So it's hard to say. I have you, not got the booster, yet? but the I second shot like ruined me for a day. Yeah. You, how you, were, no, you the, first shot, the first shot, I can't remember. The first shot was just, I know like the second one felt like, like someone like hit me in the arm with like a baseball bat, broke my arm. We went to the driving range the next day after I got my first shot, which was dumb because then my arm was just super Probably sore. Work the, it out a little bit, though. Way no, longer. I don't know how that works? Like, no, no, no. It really ached <laughs> the next day, really bad. <laughs> Felt like someone just been punching me and giving me a Charlie horse, like a freaking shoulder. Uh, so, so you're you're saying, so just if the second shot up, kind of like fucks you, you up, like the booster should be better, or don't. No, what I'm seeing is people who felt it on the first two shots seem to be fine with the booster right now. But people who are like, oh, I was invincible. I feel anything on those two first two shots are like, oh, I understand what people meant now. This one sucked. But again, I doubled down with a flu shot. I was playing with fire, so it's hard to say. But it, it really only killed me for a day where I just was achy and just headache. Ah, terrible. Um, what else do I got here? Uh, this is just like a, a crazy thing I, I've been seeing on a few just different science things on TikToks, but the Parker solar probe, uh, we, it's our first probe that's ever touched the sun now. And it's just this crazy footage of like solar plasma from like the sun just going around this probe that you can just see like whipping around. But so that's weird. It's crazy. We just sent something Did you see to the that picture of the, like, like the most like uh, vivid picture we've taken of the sun. Mm, uh, maybe I, I've seen, uh, that, that just sounds like a headline grabbing thing I've done before. Yeah, and I guess we come, Earth, like, we so keep maybe, coming out with like different so. pictures every couple of years. Like, I don't know. This one seemed right. crazy. Hmm. I always like the ones where it's like, this is now currently the furthest picture away from Earth we ever have. And where it's like, we can no longer see us. And it's just like, boop, oh, there's galaxies. How do they get that shot where there's universes and galaxies everywhere? How is that signal getting back to us? I don't know what to believe. 
Oh, don't get me started, because, like, I'm not one that wants to believe the moon landing was fake, but for some reason, TikTok's really pushing that narrative on me. Um, just uh, the, uh, so many, the firmament that, like, Elon Musk's rocket recently, like, why it looks so weird with that trail behind him is because they're saying that space is really water, and that was his, his rocket skimming the surface. Don't tell me that. That's don't been t- all I need over to sleep my TikTok. Tonight. I have to work in the just, morning. I know, I know. Your classic just like wires clearly visible in moon landing things and like why is the camera panning up and like how are we getting a live stream signal so clearly from the moon to everyone in the world in the 60s when right now I can't get shit from like my upstairs office to happen and Skype's always failing. A lot of that. But I choose not to dive into those ones because, you know, you I know what I'm done with right now get to is Uf- UFO sightings, just UFOs that- in general. See, and that's kind of the thing. Every, you know what, though? I think that's the whole point, man. Disclosure, the government's slowly been trying to make you not care. And now that's everyone's reaction. When you see a UFO, everyone's give, like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Aliens are real. We're just waiting for the moment Give me a Martian just, or just, just let, let's shit tell us. or get off the pot. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's pretty ready and doesn't care anymore. So just, just tell us and we'll get on with it, you know? We'll be fine. I'll be fine. And the people that won't be fine, that's fine. We don't need that. Too no, harsh, too much. Like, what do what what do you see an alien at? Like, is it um, what's your envision of an alien? Is it uh, like Mars attacks, well, or I mean, is it like, like signs? There's already been uh, probably you know more like uh, nefarious ancient aliens, like beings that came here and genetically altered. What do they us look to like? Mine though? gold and resources like? for them, and they're gonna. Uh, oh God, Mark. <laughs> Do you want to just little can, green, there's, little green there's, goose? There's, uh, we have the <laughs> we have the little goose. We have the we have the greys, which oh, are yeah. your classic little guys with the big heads. They're the Nordic. I forget tall you've been white, watching. Uh, get into that one. Discovery there's Channel. The reptilians. Mark, I listen to so many conspiracy podcasts. Henry Zabrowski from Last Podcast is always chattering in my ear during the workday about crazy shit. Mark, I just I know <laughs> a lot of things that aren't true. Um. Here's a crazy thing I learned on TikTok. This is a TikTok fact for you. Tampons were originally invented to Nose use. Bleeds, right? Now, Nose last bleeds. week you might remember I was. No, we no. mentioned. No, no, no. Last week you'll you'll remember me mentioning that police are maybe going to start getting inflatable balloons. Yeah, you told to me that. certain to stab wound victims uh, that they'll inflate up because that'll compress the internal bleeding as well as the the actual wound. I found out that tampons were actually originally used as bullet like patches where you would stick it in there because same concept it would expand with your blood and stop the internal bleeding but i also mm. found out that because of the time of that these were invented it, cocaine was your main uh numbing agent these tampons would just be coated in cocaine and you would shove it in a little jesus <laughs> christ i don't know if this is true again this is a tiktok fact this could be totally wrong but the lady telling me the facts seemed trustworthy and not looking for shock value. But I mean, that is that, that, that if that is true, would be a wild fact. <laughs> if true, I mean, the balloon seems terrible. But that seems oh, is that better or worse? Would you rather have a cocaine-covered tamp shoved into your stab or bullet wound, or the balloon? The balloon's probably gonna save you. Yeah, I mean, cocaine might be a little. Fun. If I'm gonna die, looking for a little fun. Uh, is it a blood thinner? Would it hurt at all? I kind of I don't exactly remember the chemical. What do you mean you don't remember body, like you knew before? A, isn't it a blood thinner? <laughs> I don't know. It's come up in like, like health reports. Like I said last stuff. podcast, and I, I don't, don't want know. Jeremy, fresh out of the academy, to be pumping my bullet wound with a with a balloon. I just don't want that. Or him sticking a ta- a dirty tampon with a no, get cocaine it. laced cocaine tampon into my into my wound. It's a medical tampon covered in cocaine, but it was times that it probably was just filthy and reused. Um, Gross, but true. Um, This is the last TikTok news I have, but I saw this headline all over my TikTok. And man robs a Wells Fargo bank in Delaware, and then he exits the bank and deposits that money into the ATM on the side of that bank. He immediately caught and arrested because you can trace where that money's going i don't hate the, i don't hate the thought so, pattern where he's going dumb. i'd like you know got to get that into the account quick if you want to use the debit card 
I don't even hate using the same bank, but maybe just like drive away, come back with like take off your like whole mask, put on a regular face mask, and then the no surveillance one will know camera and fine, footage of that you know? is hilarious. I just know it. Like, <laughs> just go to a different bank. Just that's all you have to do. Any other ATM, a different town. I, I'd love to like see him like uh, waiting like, behind uh, someone mm. else. Just like, no, you're fine. Yeah, go ahead of me. Like, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. This is kind of crazy, though, because this is like the third bank robbing story that's come up, I think, on TikTok news. That, that's another narrative really being pushed to me. Uh, usually I get a lot of also, uh leave your body, uh, spiritual kind of stuff. So uh, that's been heavy in there, but I don't have really any talking points on that this week. You got anything, um, Mark? My last little blurb is that we, we've been loading the Pez dispensers all wrong. Did you see that? Oh, dude, I've been seeing that, too. It's, I'm not as, I'm a little angry, but I'm happy to know this now. Cause like I actually pass, it's a gross candy. It doesn't taste good, but the novelty of it. Yeah. Just, it's like a whole play thing. It. It's I like a, it's a, a process. Kid. It's it, like you're loading a gun and then you, uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but like the purple one tastes like medicine. Love it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a grape. I'm a purple flavor so person po- in apparently general, but you know, don't unwrap right. the Pez at all. You don't load the shells into the clip at all. Mm-mm. You just, you stick the wrapper into the bottom. Cock. Yeah. Cock. The cock out of it. And, then, and there you go. You're ready. Just shoot it into your face. Now she comes. You know, this is, this isn't too surprising though. Cause I'm, I, I've told you this before and you know this. I mean, we've been friends since like the second grade, but I'm a person that likes. Not only do I like run, stop. Like you do, run. Cameron. I do. I like a lot of banana. No, you candy. don't. I love banana laffy taffy. But here's the thing: there are a lot of banana flavor things I hate. The banana Cameron, flavor popsicle. Terrible. I feel like you. And you like, said to me before you hate like, like grape flavored things because they don't taste like grape. The number one thing that doesn't taste like a banana. Oh no, no, I love grape. Okay, so it wasn't things. you. Grapes, okay. so I love it. Okay. No, I love grape. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. It might be a Joe thing. It's Joe or Chris. I do remember someone in the band saying that because banana flavored me. anything. Like, I'll gag on a on a runt. This might be a problematic candy. Bro, no, for some reason, like uh, that. You know when you just have like the quarter, like dirty, filthy candy machines. Like that was always my go-to. If there are runs in there, I'm like, oh yeah, because I'm never gonna buy those like a box. <laughs> yeah, of it's, so that's just it's either you, you like while, you spend you know? twenty five cents on those little homies that you get. You know those little homie figurines. Or, yeah. or like a little handful of runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're always banana runs because the bananas are heavier and they sink to the bottom. <laughs> I don't know if it's always they're heavier ones, but I don't like seek them out. It's not, it's not my favorite flavor of the run, but like, I don't, I, 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 I like it. I like it. I do like the banana flavored Laffy Taffy. I'll seek that out, which is great because everybody hates it and leaves it. So I just, don't, nom, don't, nom, 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 A, th- a thought just nom, pops nom, nom, in my nom, brain. Nom, nom, nom. Do all the runs taste the same? Like like mm-hmm. Fruit Loops are just different colors. Yeah. Okay. So no. this. No. Otherwise, why the banana? Why is everyone so against the banana if it's all the same? You know. I don't know. I yeah, will say this point. though, it's kind of like before Skittles had green apple and ruined everything. And Skittles, if you're listening, which you should be, because we hit I you think up all they the time do on listen. social media. Bring back do. lime. Bring back lime. But back in the day, I used to be able to just take a handful of Skittles, and I used to just mix it and love that. I just could be wrong. Flavor. Hold on, let me look this up. I think Twitter like mm-hmm. like shot on Skittles for so long that I think they're bringing back lime. Oh, actually, when I was home over Thanksgiving, uh, my sister lives in Israel, and she brought back just bags of Skittles because they still have lime overseas. So I actually did get to live the dream of my my childhood and just got the nostalgic regular good tasting lime skittle back so skittles just bring it back <laughs> have both options <laughs> have both options after eight long years skittles is officially bringing lime back is this on the today show like like right around october permanently or they're just like here you go no Here's no no no, no no of having lime back yes we're skittles is bringing dicks. back its lime flavor wait snopes snopes Permanently? This is this is on Snopes. Hold on. Right, Mark, why are you doing this to me? True. True. Snopes says true. True. I'll believe it when I see I'll believe it when I see it. And if so, like you used to know me as a, I mean I am a glutton still, but I would just sit down with like a one pound bag of Skittles and I could like finish that in like a movie. And like I wouldn't feel good. Yeah, it's, it's just probably that gummy really, just really bad for right your body. In your belly. But, like, Oh, God, that feeling in your throat of just, like, coating it in that thick sugar. 
Oh yeah, Cameron. I remember like, like fourth back, grade. Skills. You you wanted to like create some sort of substance that was like Smarties, like ground up with like uh, six or not six. Uh, uh, did we? Did we not? I think we did. I think we just took like the sugars of like Sprees. Smarties, Sprees, and took that dust and just like mashed it into Starburst and Skittles until it was like a wad of sugar and just like ate that. It be. It wasn't well, bad that's, tasting. It was fruit That's sugar. how we it sort of got into our b phase. That's why we, that's why we broke dance. Was that it? We got real hyped up. <laughs> we got up on like some sugar speedballs. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's I, just I a good sort of exactly. tie-in. I feel like to to end the podcast. Yeah, I think now that they know about our b-boy phase and my glut, I can still do the worm there. front and back. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Oh, me too. Oh, great too. I could jump into it. I uh, just, I mean, did it at my brother's wedding for like a second. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for tuning we'll to the High Wire Podcast. Thursday, we'll check Thank you next you. week. Bye.